Look. You're a hunter. Right. Right. And this is the rabbit season. Right. Right. And if he was a rabbit, what would you do? Well, I... well-known youtuber by the name of Casey Neistat who I love his work I try to use him more as like a cornerstone for the videos I like to do uh, he has got he's also got a pair of sunglasses that he used to wear before he switched to his purple lens ones and I thought they're really cool they had some paint on it and so today I'm gonna just try and make those I watched his video about it uh, I want to say I watched this video, I want to say, like, four, four and a half months ago on how he actually made his. And I don't really remember exactly how he did it, but we're, I'm just going to go by logic. So hopefully this will work out pretty well. So it's going to be a surprisingly, uh, well, not really surprisingly, but it's going to be an easy build. Um, all you need are... We're gonna need are these a pair of sunglasses, preferably in the shape of like a Ray-Ban Wayfarer Classic, I believe. These are not Ray-Ban. These are actually Hill Crusher on Amazon. I got a pack of two for like twelve dollars or something. Good deal. But you're gonna need these sunglasses. You're going to need some form of a blade so you can cut stuff. You're gonna need some blue tape. And that's just per by personal preference if you don't want to get any paint on the lens. You can cover this up with tape for that cleaner look, so I'm going to go with that. But if you don't feel like going with that, you really don't have to go with, with that. Um, you're also going to need some form, some form of white paint or whatever color you want to use. Uh, mine is a white paint and primer. Um, Jesus, everything's breaking. Uh, yeah, it's that's all you need. So, um, just one thing I forgot to mention is you're also gonna need something for when you're painting to cover up what you're painting on, so that you don't make a mess everywhere. But without further ado, let's get right into it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some tape and. Put that right over, cut out the tape. Now the important thing is to A, not cut yourself. Ah. Dang, I was close. All right, so, um, got it for the most part, got it covered up. It's not gonna be perfect, as you can see, there's, there's a little shoddy of a, Cut job, but you know, it's gonna be totally fine. Really, from there, all that's left to do is, yeah, paint away. Hopefully, I don't run out of paint. You can also go to the... Ah, that'll be difficult. Uh, one thing that I would really suggest using, actually, is to wear some gloves. I did not, so I got some paint on my hand, but that's, that's no concern. Alright, so it's been, uh, give or take, about two, oh, hold on, it's been a give or take about two, two and a half hours, and so all the paint on the glasses should be dry at this point. Sorry, I don't have any better lighting to use, but this is the best one we we're going to get for right now. Uh, paint should all be dry by now, and so I just want to take this knife. Looking good, looking good. Now, you wanna take like a popsicle or like a wooden spoon of some sort and you just gotta 
speed it up and you just keep keep going until you've scraped off the amount that you like and I'll be back when that's finished because that's gonna take This project is taking a little longer than I originally had anticipated, but last night I brought it in and I beat, started to beat it up with those uh, popsicle, with that popsicle stick thing. And I'm really digging the look of these. They look pretty nice. I took the tape off and sort of cleaned up the edges. But one thing I noticed is that after all the drying, it still felt pretty gummy and just like the outer layer. One thing that I should probably do is. Uh, some polyurethane on it. So the last step in these glasses, the last step in these glasses is just to put probably just a coat of polyurethane on it. But again, to preserve these lenses, I'm gonna have to put some more tape on them. Um, there we go. There we go. about I want to say hour hour and a half letting this dry and I think that polyurethane did its job perfectly thumbs up to the polyurethane in this project I think it feels great now for me this is the part of the of this project where the glass is 100% finished last thing that I'm gonna do is all right looks like some polyurethane got under this tape which that's honestly was to be expected but and then for me personally I'm just gonna add the finishing touches of uh, I've got a label maker sitting around in the house and so I printed out my YouTube name on a little thing and cut that up and then I'm just gonna it's like a little sticker so at this point glasses are finished and you just add your own personal touches which if I can get this there we go Boom, throw in a little personal flare, and I think just to be safe, I'll put a little bit of polyurethane on it, just so I can seal that sticker under a layer of something. So, do that, and then we can call it good on this project. Thank you so much.